Hello everyone. So today I have my watercolor travel on the go plan air setup to share. And um, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to set this aside. That's sort of extras. We'll start with the bag that I have. It's a Lee Hit Lab Smart Fit. Smart Fit for various work occasions it says here on the label. It is navy. I don't know what this material is. Um, but yeah, it has a Velcro closure. And it had, it came with, this is like a metal D-ring on the two sides so that you can attach a carry strap, which I have attached. What did I do here? I think I tied it in a knot so it's smaller, but I have attached an old purse strap on there. Oh, that's what I did there. Did tie it in a knot because I didn't want it long for packing. But yeah, and then I can also tie it a knot to shorten it if I wanted to carry it around my shoulder or cross body style. And I'm not sure if I'm keeping this on here or not, but this is just a little um, washi roll of washi tape for taping things off. The other thing this bag has is these snaps here so that if you were wearing a belt, you know, you could hook it on your belt, but I might hook it onto like a um, fanny pack, bum bag, pouch and the purse that I have, the travel purse that I have, can function crossbody, it can function as a shoulder bag, or it can even be cinched up to wear around your waist. So if I have it in that style, I can hook this on to that and use it that way. So there's a lot of versatility with this bag, but it is small, but I wanted it small because I don't want it too heavy. Um, so yeah, and then I have a couple extra, whoops, little binder clips here just clipped on. These are useful for clipping papers down from blowing in the wind and you know all kinds of purposes. And if you haven't seen my video because inside here is my travel watercolor sketchbook, check the corner there for it because I was going to bring a different one but it was a little bit taller you can see this is the one I wanted to bring, a Strathmore, but it's a little too tall for this bag and it wouldn't close. The Velcro didn't, it was like up there. So I made my own and that is this. And I, since that video, I just added a little plastic clear label pocket to the back and slipped a couple of the uh, scrap watercolor uh, pa piece papers. I can't talk. Like, I always can't talk when I turn the camera on, but I slipped those in there so that like if I wanted to test the color or something and then I have, I slipped my watercolor postcards in here. And when I'm actually out and about, I don't have to bring all the pages. I was trying to say that at the end of my last video, but I'm not sure that it was clear. I can take one a page, I can take two pages because it has this kind of binding. And so, you know, I don't have to bring it all. So it won't be as thick in the bag when I'm actually out and about. But that slips into the, the largest main pocket here. You can see that. And let's see what else is in here. This may or may not be in the bag when I'm out and about. Um, but it comes with this little guy here. And it can be worn around the neck. Um, it, it has a key ring thing and it has a lobster clasp part here so I can fold it up and put it in my bag somewhere else, backpack, whatever. But I like that it has, where is it? It's essentially a ruler so I can measure, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then it has, whoops, that's upside down, the color wheel just in case with all this information and it has a grayscale value finder and these are hard plastic and it has a viewfinder so you know you can ooh, decide what you want to uh i can't think but yeah you know the other thing i could do with this is since it's hard plastic you know i could use it to get marks in the watercolor you know there's lots of things so and it's pretty thin and I just had that sitting in this pocket here. I'm gonna scoop this over here. So also in this second pocket here, I have two things. 
and it goes down to the bottom there. You can kind of see that there. I have another water and fade proof pigment ink fine liner. This is a 0.2. So in my airplane bag, I had a 0.3, um, which I can, you know, switch them out, but this is, yeah. Then I have a Ziploc bag holding a couple extra things because I didn't want them to get lost in this pocket. That's the only reason I have the Ziploc. Uh, one is a spray bottle with a cap. Nice fine mist. That's for wetting my watercolors or getting a spray effect on the painting, whatever I'm doing. There are, I have two watercolor brushes in here. I really wanted to pare down and not bring too much. So I have, and these are the Mimic, like faux squirrel brand. And this is a round number eight. And I invested in this set here that is Mimic and it has five brushes, but you know, I don't want to have too many, plus I didn't want to lose them. So I did a bunch of testing to see which, you know, if I could get down to two and what I would do with it. And so, or if I could do everything I wanted with just two of them, is this going to focus? Okay. I think that's focused now. And I just wanted to show you the fine point on that tip. So, and then these hold a lot of water for, you know, watercolor and they work really well, I found. So I can get a nice, you know, thicker line, but I can still get that fine point. And this is a number eight round, so. And the, yeah, you know, and then this other one here is a quarter inch flat. And I just thought that was very different from the round. And so that would give me the most variety with the, just two brushes. Um, so those are the two. And then, yeah, I've got mints in here because, you know, you can't have bad breath when you're painting, right? No, that's not what this is, but <laughs> they're just the cutest little tints and they do taste good. I use the mints. I don't know why there's a couple magnets in here. Maybe I was thinking I, they'd be useful to, if I had something metal to stick them to, but whatever, they're in there. But, um, this is a rubber eraser like it takes off adhesive so that is for removing masking fluid and then my kneaded erasers hanging out in here and that's what this little mint tin is for so that's what's in this pocket here and then I have another clip here can't have too many clips apparently and then let's see what's in this pocket is my portable painter those are my paints I'll open that up more in a second and then this little pencil pocket here has four different things. I have a ruler that is, this is probably metric. Like what are those? Are those centimeters? I'm not even sure. Um, but it's thin and it's a nice hard. So it's a great way to get a straight line. I'm not sure. I think this will stay here because it's nice and small, but I am, you know, not in love with it, but, but it is useful. I don't know where I got that. My husband got it from somewhere and brought it home to me. Then I have another um, mechanical pencil. This is a Zebra Delgard 0.5. And yep, that's in there for sketching. I don't know where the cap went, but hey, I guess I don't need it. A pipette for filling, what is this for? Oh, filling water brushes. And also you can put drops, water effects, you know. And then I have my masking fluid marker pen, which I picked up in Germany. A long time ago. Yes. And that's why I have that rubber eraser. So that is the bag empty. And I'm going to scoot these things over and show you the portable painter because I love this little thing. So there's a better review um, of this whole portable painter, I think, on Lindsay, the Frugal Crafters YouTube channel. Um, but I'll just show you briefly. There's this rubber guy and you can, in order to not lose this clip that holds it shut, can slip this in here for when you're actually using it and you now put it on there and then you don't lose the metal part. But the paint, uh, this part comes out and these are meant for water. The case turns into a water 
holder. So slip those guys on and if you have a flat surface it can sit very nicely but it also can sit on your leg and yeah. So then open this up. Of course I've used this. I did try to clean it a little bit um, so it's cleaner than it was but yeah it's not perfect. And inside the portable painter also comes with this little uh, brush which has pretty this you can get really tiny marks and so that's another reason why I was like um, went with the eight round a nice bigger brush and then the quarter inch flat because I have this guy also and uh oh this got of course things weren't dry when I put this on oh there's I'm gonna have to clean that off got stuck on there I'm sad okay and it was my two watercolor sticks that did that oh so this is um what I the paints it's a swatch of my paints that are in there and somehow I got it really dirty anyway uh there are those is like Aquarelle there's a variety of brands in here and most of the pans are the ones that came with this but this pan was a water a Daniel Smith watercolor that I had that I really wanted to bring and I just managed to wedge it in here just barely. The pans that come with this are slightly tapered and then this one and I believe this one are a De La Rowney that I got in a in an art subscription box and they fit really well in there. So and they were they were a slightly tapered but so those two are De La Rowney. This is a Reeves. It's like a cheapo. It's I don't love it but it's the only thing I have in that color. These three are Daniel Smith. This is a Daniel Smith that came in this pan. So I have tubes of these, or I had, because that's this is the last of it. This is a Daniel Smith stick, and this is sap green. And this is a stick of burnt sienna, also Daniel Smith. And I think this is a core watercolor Prussian blue. And then this is Daniel Smith yellow ochre that I just got a tube of. So that's what those are, but I tried the sticks. Now I think I can just scrape this off and put it back on there maybe, but so that's important. Don't close up your um, sheet on there. You don't want to lose some paint, but I did do that so that it wouldn't get on here. Uh, anyway, but I really like this palette for taking for plein air painting and I'm just going to set it aside right now because I need to fix that but we also want to go through this little pouch which is yes I picked this up at Daiso too I don't love that it doesn't completely zip shut here so that's annoying but I do love that it has this little hanger there so I can clip it to things and like clip it to a bag but then if this doesn't shut that might not be good I would maybe want to clip it inside a bag but these are sort of the extras that I brought along for I might I'm probably not gonna bring everything on an outing but maybe I just want to bring maybe I don't want to bring the colors and I just want to do sketching and I have an extra uh, palette plastic palette in here and then I have come here it's just barely the set of watercolor graphite pencils I'll go into that in a moment and a Stabilo all pen or pen not pen pencil these are great because they're just so reactive and you can get some really fun effects with that and then I have three water brushes the Pentel this is a big bigger you know it's not too big for like wash a wash of the sky I thought, figured that'd be easier than messing with the pins. Um, and then this one is also a flat, but it's a s probably a quarter inch or something. So, and then that one, wow, that one's big too. I forgot about that. And then I have two more Pentel water brushes in my airline bag that I could slip in here, in and out as I want. And two more clips. So those all go in there with that and this is sort of my more muted palette and this is almost the original set now I got this in I believe a sketch box if I find out which one I'll pop the it in the i card there in the corner the only thing that's different than the original set is this set I don't know if you can tell that right there is a white it comes with a white and the white is, uh, I hesitate to say, but I think it's kind of useless because 
if you use it dry you can almost see the white on top of something dark but if you wet it it just disappears and so I took that one out the set comes with an HB an 8B and then HB red green and blue graphite and really love those and in fact do I have it here yes look at that okay so this is what the HB looks like 8B and that's with water this is the red it's not very red I mean it's kind of yeah I don't know and the green and the blue and then I thought instead of that white I wanted something more brown because maybe you know I want to uh, do landscape and castles and stuff and so I was looking through which ones I had and I settled on a Carondash Museum Aquarelle French gray and I believe that's this one right here and so that one I thought would work the best and it fit in the little case and so that's why that's in there it doesn't go with the set but that's for if I want to do like a sketch but I want to add just a little bit of color and maybe I don't have as much time and then I have that in this pouch so I don't have to bring the portable painter with me I could just slip this one in here or in my day bag so I've made a big mess, now I need to put it all back together. Okay, so it's a tight, tight fit with everything in there, but again, I'm not necessarily going to bring all of that when I'm on each trip. And I managed to stuff the cord in there. <laughs> and yes, it closes, so there you go. And this, you know, I can hook on or throw in my bag. And that is what I'm planning to bring for my plein air setup. I forgot to mention in my airplane video this little fella here that is a water a little clip on water tin which I am probably gonna bring just to have something else to kind of rinse out the water brushes and then I probably won't need it when I'm out and about but when I am out and about I might bring this board um, some of the times in a backpack and that gives me a place to clip a page two. Otherwise, if I just have the book, it's pretty sturdy. So, if I have one or two pages of watercolor and all these clips I have access to, you know, I can hold this in my lap and let's just say I'm working on a watercolor postcard. I can have it clipped on and have the other stuff access to it. So that's how I plan on using it. So thanks again for watching and have a wonderful creative day. Bye!